afternoon, or good morning, whatever time you're watching this. I'm John Gaylor. As you know, being a part of the group, Acoustic Guitar Made Simple. I am so excited to be able to share with you all about how to play songs by ear on the acoustic guitar. You're probably in a place where you know a couple chords or you just always wanted to play. And so you joined a couple groups, including this one, and but you know it's never really gone anywhere. Well, in this video, the key benefits you're gonna get is uh, how to get out of being in that stuck feeling because it doesn't matter like how good you are or whether you're art whether you are a beginner or even if you've been playing for a while, you can still get in a rut, you can still get stuck, and you really want to get past that. So like I said, it's one of the key benefits of um, this webinar and what I'm going to cover. Yeah, getting out of the stuck feeling and actually play better, play guitar, the acoustic guitar better. Um, and, you know, able to play any song that you hear by ear. And people think that's a skill that only comes naturally. It can't be learned, but it actually can be learned. So you'll learn chords, the, you'll learn these certain chords that will help you learn songs much faster and be able to play them in the, like, the same key that they were written and all that. You don't have to you know, transpose it to just a couple chords that you know or whatever, stuff like that. So that's, that's kind of the key benefits of what you're going to get out of this webinar is being able, being able to play. Um, better being able to play songs by ear being able to learn uh, more chords to be able to learn your favorite songs faster and that's what this webinar is going to cover so um, yeah so if you're an amateur guitar player and you know you feel stuck uh, or you know maybe you've given up you are at the right place uh, so you know, I hope that this will help you understand guitar better, understand what your problem is, and um, be. And I'll, hopefully, I'll be able to share what the solution is that I have found to be to for my success, and how to just be able to. I'm telling you, it's nothing like it. Turn on a song, start listening to it, and be able to start playing it, as I did say before. So, uh, just a little disclaimer, though. You know. Um, at the end of this webinar, I will be providing a, an opportunity for you to work with me. Um, you know, I don't want to catch you off guard. I will be making an offer, but it'll be totally up to you. You don't have to even say an answer at the end of this webinar. Just watch it, make up your own mind. It's totally cool. I just don't want to catch you off guard and try to make it seem like I am trying to just tell you something i really want to help and i really want to provide value and uh, as much value as i can not only just in the group but also um through this specific webinar that's going to be um geared towards the end of the video so just want to um throw that out there if that's not something you're interested in it's okay i totally understand you can turn off the video and just go on about your day but if uh but if you are going to keep watching it just so you know there is going to be that at the end so uh so yeah um so i've you know given the introduction of this and the and who this webinar is for and that's for you if you're feeling stuck if you feel like you aren't really getting anywhere and you don't can't you can't really feel like you can call yourself an acoustic guitar player this video is for you so you know, the explanation of this video, the topic, you know, acoustic guitar by ear, you know, that's the point. That's the whole point of this, uh, of this group, of this group of everything that I want to show that I want to teach. Um, you know, I, I, you know, I have my post that is pinned to the top of the group where it does share some of my story, but, um, you know, I, it's uh, kind of more in depth of it. I'll share my story for, for just a few minutes here. I was probably like seven when I got my first guitar. It was an electric guitar from an, 
from a music store in, uh, close to where I used to live when I was young. Yeah, like I said, probably like seven or eight. And my dad was actually had a clean had a an account there for his cleaning business, and so he got to talking to the owner there and was able to get me because uh, I showed a little interest in electric guitar. I think I had like a play guitar thing. I still have a picture of it. You just press buttons and it just plays random music. So my my dad got me, my parents got me that guitar. Um, it was like a, can't remember exactly what kind it was, but it was like a Fender uh, kind. And yeah, and it came with an amp, quarter inch cord. But, you know, I did not take the time to learn to play it. I would just turn it up, jam out as hard as I could, and then be done. And that was it. I would just strum the strings. I didn't even learn chords. I didn't learn it the way you're supposed to. Kind of like if you get a piano and you start banging on it, you know, you just that's not going to get you anywhere if you're going to actually learn to play piano. Well, same with guitar. It never, it just never worked for me. And one day I was strumming so loud. It sounded so cool if I strummed it really loud with the volume turned all the way up. Well, sure enough, I blew the speaker. And that was the end of me playing guitar. I, from that point on, I think all I would do is just play songs on the radio and then pretend like I was playing because I would watch a music video or something like that. So that was my first exposure to guitar, just the six string guitar in general and electric, not the best one. Probably why I don't play electric today. But fast forward a while later, um, my parents were really encouraging me to, to take lessons. So I started taking lessons and the teacher that I had was teaching me how to um, I read music. And if I would have stuck with it, it would have been really, really good. And I would have been able to retain a lot of knowledge that I don't have today. But I had, was probably, I don't know, 12 or 13. I just had other interests. I was not interested in sitting and, and learning all the, all the long theory that just kind of just, you know, weighs you down if you don't know it, you know. So that was, you know, kind of just put me down and I decided I didn't want to do it. So I quit that. And um, so fast forward a couple of years later, maybe in my youth group, I was so intrigued during the worships, worship part of just the worship leader up there playing the acoustic guitar and singing and leading the band. And I was like, man, I would really want to do that. And I, rem I still remember thinking that, like, I want to do that. So I decided to, um, I, uh, I actually didn't play the electric that I had. I actually asked my parents for an acoustic guitar. I specifically wanted acoustic. Up until this point, I thought acoustic was boring and not fun and just not, it's not the cool part, the cool version of a guitar. Because electric is obviously cooler, right? But lo and behold, every Wednesday night at my youth group, I'd be watching the worship leader play the acoustic guitar and I'm like, man, that is awesome. So it just, it just got me. So I asked my parents for an acoustic guitar. They bought me probably the cheapest acoustic guitar you could ever find. That was at the music store at the time at this new, at a new place we were living at. So went there or uh, they gave me the guitars, like $89 guitars, a rogue, probably never heard of that brand, but man, I play the crap out of that thing. And, uh, uh, and I even, I didn't even have a, have a capo. I used a pencil and a rubber band. So that's where I, that's how I uh, f first started um, before I actually could buy a real capo. And, um, but yeah, I just started sitting down on in front of YouTube and I learned my first song. I just looked up a, a, one of my songs that I really liked listening to at the time, Worship Bleeding Song. And I was started playing it and learned the four chords in it and then it really just took off from there i just i began to learn how to um not only just play but i was starting to sing with it so i learned to sing as i learned to play guitar so that's kind of where that the, the worship leading history of mine comes from comes from and, and what i do that what i still do today uh help, helping with worship with leading worship and leading the music but yeah as far as just you know learning and playing the guitar I just started experimenting with transposing and just it all just really came together because I built off of a foundation of one song. I learned one song 
And that one song led to another, which led to another, which led to another, which then put me into leading worship for a church. So I was leading every single Sunday. And so I was really having to learn a lot of songs. And so that probably is what gave me the push um, of where I'm at today to be able to just hear a song and be able to play it. So that's my story. Um, probably about, I don't know how long that was, like five minutes or 10, five or seven minutes or so. But uh, that that's where I've come from. And I, like I said, I talk about that a little bit in my pinned post that I have in that uh, at the top of the group page for new members and things like that. But yeah, so that's that's where it comes from, and that's kind of where I how I learned. And it's just it's crazy because you know I I started when I did start teaching, it was awesome to be able to just share what I've learned. And it's not even a whole lot of music theory either. It's just, you know, a lot of the, the songs that are written today are so simple. They're so popular, but they're so simple. So, and, and, it can, and there's a way to learn to, to play. I'm telling you, 95, 90 to 95% of songs uh, on the guitar, on the acoustic guitar. So, so yeah, that that's kind of my story. Um, and I really, really want to get you there. I really do. And I know you can because anybody can. If I can, anybody can. Trust me. Um, because I'm not n n like naturally gifted. Um, you know, I, 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 I did have to work really, really hard to get to where I'm at. And it took me, um, I don't know, probably like... When I first started, it wasn't good. Like my singing wasn't good. My playing was really wasn't that good, but then it got better the more I practiced and the better I got, the more critiquing, the, the more I was critiqued. And I, the more I took that well, the, the better I got because then I was able to adjust and just and, and figure out what was working and what wasn't. I want to shorten that process for you. Um, whether you don't play guitar or whether you do, and you haven't really gotten very far, uh, uh, the best you got is when someone says, oh, you play guitar? And it's like, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I play. And you're all hesitant because you really, you know, you don't, you, you may know just like two chords. So you grab the guitar, you show them the couple chords you know, and then your guitar's out of tune and it still sounds bad even if, even if you're making the chords right. And, you know, that's just not a fun place to be, especially if you own a guitar because it's just taking up space in your house if you're if you don't play it if you don't know how to if you don't know how to play it and don't know the ins and outs of it and it can seem complicated to get there but that's why I'm here because it's not it really does not have to be complicated at all so i want to share real quick the what and the why of this whole thing why like so so what am i saying like what am i trying to tell you and then why should you listen to me why, what do I have to offer and why should you, um, you know, take the advice and listen and, and take this new road to understanding the acoustic guitar? Well, um, as I said a second ago, like any aspiring acoustic guitar player, you know, obviously wants to uh, be able to play, you know, anytime, anywhere, be able to play anything. That it would be the goal, right? And, uh, I still remember um, I was at a, a, a camp one time and Footloose was playing and everyone was dancing and it was so fun and I had my guitar up and had my guitar with me and I was like, huh. I, I recognized the chord progression and I was like, what key could this possibly be? And so I grabbed my guitar and I started, and I grabbed my capo, I just started moving it up and down, trying to find um, the chord. I was moving it up and down the neck, trying to find the, the right chord for the song and then boom I hit one chord I capo the second hit the G chord and I was like it's an A and I started playing and I think the progression was like A and C and then D I don't remember and but like on the spot though while everyone was out there just having a good time and dancing I was I had my guitar and I was playing it and I was playing along with the song and that's one of my first memories of like being able to quickly pick up on the song and 
by hearing the progression first, then finding the one chord in that progression, and then playing the one chord, boom, got the song. And yeah, it it's only gotten better from that point because you know, you, you take that method, that same method for every other song, for, for a, a bunch, for any other song that you want to learn, and it's the same principle, and it works. So, the what is the best way that I found this, that just by being able to kind of work work with it, I, I, I got, got a paper, got a pen, wrote down every chord that you would have to know on the guitar um wrote it all down and then i was like okay what's the best way to get to to what's the best way to learn these chords and then learn any songs you want and it's really has come down this is the what it's really come down to eight chords right so you think four chords like is all you need to know just four chords and well in, in order to really understand the guitar really learn how to play and really learn how to just expand your knowledge more it really comes down to eight chords in my personal opinion um for what it's worth so that is what it is you know um four chords g d e minor c c g F, uh, a minor and f that's it that's what the key chords would be and then you know you can learn to play any of these songs, uh, I would probably venture to say a solid 50 to 60 songs with just these eight chords. So if you think about it, if you learn these eight chords, you can play, and I'll push it up to 70%, honestly. You can learn to play 70% of songs. And then if you learn the rest of the chords that are that you could learn on the guitar, that's up to 90 songs. So 90% of songs. So that is what... Um, it, it kind of boils down to is these eight chords and um, another key thing would be that capo that I've referred to so much already in this video is is the capo people say it's cheating but I don't see how it'd be cheating if you're playing a song and bar chords just aren't working you know who can play bar chords through an entire song because I never have, and I never have had to, right? I, I just put the capo on and play the, the certain chords that I feel like sounds right with the song. Because songs sound different. Two songs might have the same F chord, but one in one song, a barred F chord would make sense and sound good. In another song, the not barred version of F chord actually sounds better if it's like more mellow or kind of more in a minorish key. So that is the difference so there's nothing wrong with a capo and it really is you know to my knowledge you can't put a capo on in really any other instrument except for maybe a banjo like you can put you can't put it on a piano or a bass or or anything like that that i know of you know i mean it's most commonly on a, a, an acoustic guitar so yeah these eight chords one capo can really unlock the mysteries of guitar of the acoustic guitar. I'm trying to emphasize acoustic guitar because electric is a completely different world. So it will unlock the acoustic guitar for you. I have played and led bands for over 10 years and it always, with every new song I've ever learned, it always comes down to these eight chords and one capo every single time. I mean, rarely do I have to use different chords because like I said, you can play all these songs with, with these eight chords and a capo. So then, you know, that's the what, and then why you should apply it is because it'll, it makes sense when you apply these eight chords to your playing. If you're still watching this, you're still hanging with me. I'm glad you're still here. I hope what I'm saying is making sense. And I really just want to address the problems that every acoustic guitar player does face so some reasons that you might not be having success uh you know you youtube the song you googled chords or you know uh 
you know, you tried to learn, learn a little bit just on your own and you really just gave up because I can tell you the reason why was because you probably had no clear direction on where to go with what you were learning. Because if you're learning on your own, you know, unless you do happen to have that musical gift of just being able to pick up any instrument and play it, you're not going to have you're not going to, you know, have success in learning to play the acoustic guitar. You're just not because um you really need you really need somewhere to go because if you're not if you don't have any clear direction, all you're doing is just picking random bits of information out of nowhere, like a chord here, a chord there, a song here, a song there. And, but there's no foundation to build off of. Also, if you're a absolute guitar, uh, beginner acoustic guitar player, um, you've never even played a guitar. You got one like for Christmas or something like I did. And you just thought about playing and it's a good thought like in the back of your mind, but you've never just actually sat down and you know, for a consistent amount of days trying to actually understand because you either don't have time or it's just not, you know, in your interest at the moment. There are potential problems you'll run into as a beginner if you're watching this and, you know, it's like I said, it's been in the back of your mind, but you've never really actually taken lessons or it really, had never really gotten any clear direction. You'll face problems that every beginner guitar player will have. So you'll have, first of all, the one thing that beginners always start to complain about, which I did too, is the callous, the callous fingertips, or I should say the lack thereof, because when you're first getting them, it really hurts. And you, all you get, you got lines, they look like scars across your fingertips and it hurts. And you're like, why am I doing this? And then, you give, and then you, you stop playing, you put it up, put the guitar up. And as soon as you heal, you're like, well, I don't want to hurt again. So I'm not going to play that thing again. I'm not going to try it. The chords didn't even sound good anyway. And you just give up. And it's just, to me, that's a sad story. You, know, you don't want to give up because there are ways to be able to, you know, get around that. But like another problem that you might run into as a beginner is like your hand cramping, like so much. If you're trying to, especially trying to learn to make bar chords and it's just like, you're just like hurting, you know, that, that is a, another problem that you might run into. I mean, not might, you will run into cramping hand, cramping fingers, forearms, whatever, because it's not easy if you don't have that muscle memory built up that's in your hand. Um, another problem would be crappy sounding chords in all honesty. You might know four chords, but every time you make them, they they sound so bad. They're buzzing, and it's something I always like to say, you want your chords to to ring out, not buzz. So a ring out is like if, if you own a certain kind of phone that has the default text tone that's like ding. That, when you're making that chord, bing, or even, or even one string, that, is, you want that ring to come out. What you don't want is that buzz. Buzz, and it's just, you know, because you're struggling to hold the chord, the, the strings down while you're trying to make the chord, and it's just a huge struggle and a huge battle, and then your chords never sound good, and everyone else around you is like, man, honestly, that does not sound good. Like, so you, it's just, it, it is really discouraging as a beginner. Uh, and another thing would probably be having trouble with uh, chords that you already do know, like I said before. I, so if you're learning those four chords and it, it's just not sounding good, you're not going to want to learn new chords on top of that. It'd be like, okay, you learned G, D minor, and C. All right, now let's learn C and F. <laughs> you know, like, how am I supposed to do that if I don't even know how to make these chords properly and make them sound good? So that is a discouragement. And um, not even on your your chord making hand, depending on if you're right handed or left, but on your strumming hand. You, I mean, I don't know if you noticed or not, but not everyone has like 
the same kind of rhythm, you know? And if you don't have that natural rhythm, it can be really hard to try to stay on time, to stay on beat. If you're playing along with a song, you're struggling to keep up because you're having to think about changing chords and think about, about strumming and it's just like, it's not working. So, you know, finding that rhythm, dropping your pick on the floor, in the guitar hole, whatever, it's just not, it's, that can be super, another down, another downside to learning as a beginner. Uh, and then in all honesty, the, uh, the last struggle that, you know, I have, have listed might be, you know, sounds like noise rather than music. It doesn't, sound like music if you turn on the radio if you play a song on your phone if uh you're hearing a song in a public place it you know it i, I saw a reel the other day where it was like guys a guy is in there when the music really just starts captivating you and you're in the aisle looking at a can of beans or something and it's like you kind of get lost in the music for a second while you're listening to it, like if nobody's around and you're just kind of like, and it just, it, get, it puts you in this zone. And then you kind of like snap out of it and you're like, oh, okay, well, I, I'm supposed to be grocery shopping. And then you keep going. <laughs> I've never had that moment, but no, I'm just kidding. I totally have. Uh, it's supposed, music is supposed to sound good. And if you're struggling as a beginner, to make your music sound good, I mean, that's just, that's hard. You can't, you're not going to want to keep moving forward if it just sounds like trash and noise and no one wants to hear you. I actually, at one time, attempted to play the violin and I had a violin. Now I was taking lessons and my, one of my issues with playing violin was having my it was this way yeah so having my back turned like this and my back would start cramping so bad and it was it was rough like for some reason i just never got a hold of it and then this the the song that i was learning to play um someone overheard and was like i don't think that is you so i was like i don't know how to accept it <laughs> so i never picked that instrument up since but that was before I learned to play guitar, the acoustic guitar. But yeah, um, the same thing can happen to you with your acoustic guitar. You just be like, oh, why am I even doing it? I got better things I can do anyway. Like sit on my phone and watch reels all day. Like, no, you don't want to do that. You want to learn this skill. I mean, it really is a skill and you can learn it. So yeah, the solutions, I mean, for all, for all these problems that I listed, the solutions are so there are solutions for every single one the callous fingertips you know you make the chords uh but I, what i used to do to, to strengthen my fingertips even when i wasn't playing any particular song was i would just take my fingertips on the thickest e string and i would just press them against the e string and i would just hold it there for a second release hold it there for a second and then i release then i'd probably do i'd do the same thing on the other strings but I really did it on the e, on that low E string because it was the thickest, which made more, which made stronger calluses on the end of my fingers, which is what I was wanting. I really wanted the pain to stop. So I, so it will go away as you learn chords, but a faster way to do it is if like you're watching TV and you're leaning back and you're just not playing anything really. You're just pressing down on the strings. That is a way to get the to get the calluses built up on your fingertips, and you know, cramping hand, uh, you know, a, a scale will help you, uh, will help that dexterity in your hand to build up those uh, muscles in your hand, um, and then through those, your crappy sounding chords will will start sounding better because you'll be building the strength up in your hand so yeah there are solutions for all the problems that i have listed and yeah it'll get you out of that state you're you, that you got yourself in of like having a great start but never actually grasping the concept of the acoustic guitar um so yeah i mean you know music theory is necessary when 
uh, you know, when le learning the ins and outs of music and um, actually understanding it, but it's actually not necessary. Now, if you were to the if you were to learn everything about music, music theory would definitely be the road to go, and it really will just open up music in general for you. But to be able to do the simple thing, like play your favorite songs by ear, music theory is just not necessary. It's not needed. Although pretty much studying any kind of music, I guess would be music theory, but like to get deep into it, it's really not necessary. There is another route to go um, that will get you to basically get you to where you can play music by ear, play your favorite songs by ear. And so, um, so the solution to all of this is those eight chords that I mentioned earlier through learning these eight chords and getting a capo will literally unlock the guitar for you. It did for me when I first was learning to play and learning how to transpose you know, when these certain chords are applied, they, uh, like I said, it just, it just helps you understand and gr really grasp the concept of how the acoustic guitar, um, is how it works and how it, how it operates. Well, all right. Um, we're about to, I'm about to draw an end to this, um, webinar. As I did mention before, there will be, I will be making an offer. Like I said, it's totally up to you. Um, but I feel like if you're still watching this, then maybe I have brought some value to you. Maybe I have brought some things to your attention that kind of, that you resonate with and you're like, yeah, that is totally me. Then believe me, I would love to help you. And so, um, I have designed I have designed a course that will get you um, from point A to point B of learning to play your favorite songs by ear using these eight chords and a capo. It works. So uh, I used to take karate and the quickest distance between two points is one straight line. So if you're going to strike someone, you don't want to go any other wasted time around to get to somebody. You want to get there quick and you want to strike fast. That is my course when it comes to learning how to play the acoustic guitar by ear. It's getting you from like having no knowledge of guitar all the way to being able to grab your guitar, play a song on your phone and go, okay, okay, yeah, I got this, I got this. And um, being able to play the song. That's where I want to get you to. And so for the next few minutes, I will be going over the modules um, real quick and, and, and like well really before I do that I'll do like an entire overview of it um, and that is really that really is it that is the overview is just getting you from point A to point B of learning how to play the acoustic guitar by ear using eight chords and one capo and um, and so in module one so if you do decide to work with me and uh, buy the course and um, really get your guitar playing, your acoustic guitar playing soaring. Uh, I, I really am happy to go over with you the modules and what you'll be learning. So in module one, you will learn about your guitar and you will um, learn how to hold, properly hold your guitar. Uh, and then you'll learn how to properly tune your guitar. Cause I, like I say, if you know how to make all the right chords you want, then that is, uh, if, if you know, if you know how to make chords correctly and your guitar is slightly out of tune, it, they still will sound bad no matter what. And then you'll learn your, uh, I teach one scale so that you like I mentioned earlier, you can build that dexterity in your hand and really, uh, get, the, the muscles built up and then uh, then you learn your first chords at the end of that module 
So we jump into the second module. You take those four chords that you learned, because I only show four in that one, and you start strumming those four chords. You learn how to strum them. And then after that, you learn what a capo is. Um, if you don't know what it is, you've heard me mention it a lot in this webinar. Well, it's very important <laughs> and you'll learn it and it's easy. Um, the barred F major chord and uh, you know, other, other versions of it, I dedicate an entire video to because the F chord is a really important chord to learn, especially if you are going to learn the bar chords. Uh, that is going to be the first bar chord that you have to learn. There's no reason to skip over songs that have the, the F chord in it and you're like, ah, can't play it. Because guess what? There's a way around it. <laughs> but I did dedicate a whole video to learning that chord because it's an important one. And uh, after that, you learn four more. You learn the other four chords. So then you'll have eight chords uh, under your belt. And uh, yeah, so in module three, the whole course is four modules. And, and so that, I just went over one and two. So three is about, um, it, it's just going, it, it kind of gets more fast paced on in this part of the course um, because I start going through all of the chords um, that you need to learn. So the first video is, you know, your A chords. The second video is your B chords. The third video is it's like a triangle, so you got like A and then B, and then at the top, in, in the middle of the of the module, module three, is um, learning how the capo works in theory. So in the video before, you learn what a capo even does, but in this one, you actually learn what a like how a capo actually works on the guitar. And um, and then you then going back down the other side of the triangle, you just learn the D. You learn D chords, and you learn E chords, and then you learn F chords. And then at that point, you learn that the acoustic guitar just starts all the way over again. So the, I, I like to say the acoustic guitar is like an entire circle. Um, it's made of, of, you know, you get to that 12th fret, then it starts over. But you never go past that 12th fret. You know, you just stay between, usually between 1 and 5, you know, or even 1 and a little bit higher, but not very, not very often. Um yeah, so you that that uh, in those first three modules, you really grasp the concept of the acoustic guitar, and then in module four, it gets more advanced. You know, you start playing by ear. I start showing you exactly what I do that helps you um, find out find the the, uh, the key of a song and be able to play it. So instead of putting your capo on and playing all these random chords and then moving your capo, and then by the time you, you might find it after the song's done, <laughs> and even after the song's done, you still didn't find it, you gotta start over. So um, I, I teach a faster way to do that. There is a faster way and I can show you. Uh, and then after that, you learn palm muting. After that, you learn all bar chords that you need to learn. And then the uh, conclusion of the course is just chord alternatives, chords that I've actually used in my playing that I still use so often. And it uh, they really are go-to chords because they make songs sound so good when you play them. So I kind of end off with that. But yeah, you go from learning about your guitar all the way to being able to play your favorite songs by ear. And it is the whole thing is designed to to channel to that point to um to be able to help you and to really aid your guitar playing because trust me you really want to do this when you get to that point because it, it is so i mean it's just fun it's so fun it's a fun hobby you know people have you know hobbies whether it's like dirt bikes or golf you know yours can be acoustic guitar playing so let me help you with that and i really would love to help you with that so that is the entire that's the overview and the entire course it's just four modules bonuses the uh would be um upon purchasing the course i will add you to a private group so like this group that you're in is private but for those who buy the course will join a different 
a, a, a more, I guess, a more private course. I mean, more private group w w that has everyone who has purchased the course so that there can be discussion in that, you know, over the course. And then uh, I will be opening one-to-one -one weekly calls. So it's not like I, it's not like you buy the course and then I'm like, all right, you're on your own. That is not my expectation. My, that is not my uh, intention. I mean, uh, I want to help you. Uh, I, th I, this is a passion of mine. I don't just want to just try, I'm not trying to just sell something. I want to be able to help you. So I'm available over Facebook messenger. Uh, we can schedule a weekly call. Um, and then I really want to start inc incorporating monthly group calls. So maybe we could have like an entire group call with everyone who has purchased the course and answer any questions that you might have. Uh, so those are a few bonuses. Now, as we're getting to the end of this, so the price is going to be, is the price is currently for the course right now is $297. It, and this is just my pre-launch. It will be going up. Uh, it'll be going up after seven days. So uh, upon when this webinar is released, seven days, it'll be two ninety seven. dollars um, seven days, but it'll be 10 spots open within those seven days. So right now is the best time to really get on it and go ahead and purchase it because after seven days, it's going to go from 297 to 400 and 97 and from that point on it really will just keep going up because I want to make this course the best course that it can possibly be I want it to be um, a help to, to people just like you who really want to just really want to learn to play the guitar and who really has a passion for music like I do and I want to make this the best I can so you know allow me to help you but then you can help me make this course the best that it can be because when you purchase the course you have access to all of these videos for the rest of your entire life <laughs> and that is what i that's how i want to help you and that's how you can help me is by you know telling me like hey this this really did work for me thank you like hey this was a part was a little confusing can you explain and i'm totally happy to i'm here with you that's why i have the groups that's why i'm i post in them because i want to help and so yeah by you purchasing this course at, this is the lowest price it's going to be it is only for seven days y'all. only for seven days it's going to be 297 and then from that point it's just going to go up so you have an opportunity here to take your guitar playing to the next level let me help you i'm here for you i'm not going to abandon you if you were to buy my course i'm going to be right here um, to answer any questions you have along the way and like i said i, I really just want to help so um yeah the little you, you so like right now i have the link below in this video that takes you straight to my course it is super easy uh, i use a website that is top notch so it really does help and it really does make things simple i think you put in your like your email address and your name and then um your uh, purchasing information and then it's instantly ex accessed uh, by you and then you can start playing the acoustic guitar so um, yeah so that is all I got for this webinar today um, like I said you got seven days it's 297 after that there's only 10 spots open so the, if the 10 spots fills up before the seven days is up no matter what it will be going up uh, and that's just the way that it, it will be. So, hey, let me help you out. And if you have any questions over everything I've covered in this module, feel free to message me. I would love to answer any questions or comment on the bottom of this video. Um, anything. I'm always available, like I said. So um, thank you all so much for being in the group. And if you're, if you've contributed, thank you so much for your contribution. If you've asked questions or anything like that, thank you. That's really going to help other people, um, learn. And yeah, I really want to get this, uh, group gr growing and really 
uh, help a lot of people in their acoustic guitar playing. So I will see y'all later. Thanks. Hey, a couple of things that I forgot to mention in this video or in the webinar, and I kind of wanted to tag it on here on the end, but I mentioned how it's a good hobby to have and like other people do have hobbies and things, but the thing about learning to play acoustic guitar is um, it can take you, you can take it wherever you want, however, wherever you want. So like, you know, you can, it, it can be like good teaching opportunities if you wanted to teach it, if you wanted to play in a band. Um, when I, actually when I first started even playing on stage, I and I was was learning to sing because I was in youth choir at the time, so I was I was slowly getting introduced to that. But before that, I would just play the acoustic guitar in the band. I was in the back and had an awesome time and just felt looked at my chords on my sheet because I didn't have I didn't wasn't good at memorizing just yet at the time, and it was it was so fun, and so you can either take it you know, on stage, or I personally have had um, career opportunities offered to me in order to, to do this, like worship leading opportunities, for example, just for me. And um, you can take it, you know, like I said, from you just want to play guitar on your front porch to your favorite songs, or you want to go on stage. You can, it's up to you. You can take it wherever you want. And I have really found the place that I'm settled is just to teach it and to really show people and watch, like I said in the webinar, the light bulbs go off. It's so awesome to, to see that because all of a sudden all, the acoustic guitar really does unlock and you can understand it. And when someone says, hey, try, can you play this song? Or, hey, I need a guitar player. Do you know this song? Um, yeah, I happen to know it, or actually I don't, but it doesn't sound too hard. I could probably learn it. That's what you'll get. And that's what I want to offer. And that's where I want to get you to. So I forgot to mention those couple of things. And, uh, also if you were to buy the course, the amount of time it saves you and the amount of money that it saves you, it's crazy because guitar lessons for 30 minute lessons go, uh, are, range from like 30 to $40 for only 30 minutes. And usually you have to drive to the person's house, to the teacher's house, or you meet somewhere and you got that gas money to consider. Then you have your precious time to consider. And it's just a lot. It really is a lot. It's an investment. So it's a good one, you know, especially if, if you do find a good teacher, but it is an investment in order to um, learn how to play guitar. But if you were to buy an entire course, which is kind of, you know, th this is the way it's kind of going in our, in our day and age is online services and things like that. That's what I want to offer because not only do you have access to the entire course, but you can go at your own pace and not feel pressure to like get your homework done before the next lesson. If you just follow the, the video step by step at your own pace, life gets in the way. So you miss several days. It's fine. You know, it's access to you have access to the course. Then you have access to me, like I said earlier, and with any questions you have. So I just wanted to add those couple of last things to this webinar and really end it off with that just to really show you the opportunities and the places that you can go, that you can take this, and the places that you don't really have to if you don't want to. Just keep it in your home or whatever you want to do. So, see y'all later. Thank y'all.